Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome. Hello there, Liana. Long time no see, girl. And hello there, Amber. How are you doing? Yes, you get some questions answered. Penny Van, Gary, and Jean Hudson. And how are you doing there, Angela? How are you? Doing really well. Interesting. On a Tuesday Only evening. energetic even after that workout today. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Lorna, welcome. So, uh, yes, I will get my uh, pendulum out. So if you have yes or no answers, I will use the pendulum. Everybody's asked me to use the pendulum, so I'll use my pendulum tonight. I didn't prepare myself, but I will try. But yes, Amber, if you have some questions, uh, fire away, and uh, we will try to answer everybody's questions. I got I mean, you got your pendulum, too, huh? I see you got yeah. copper on yours. Yes. Interesting. A round of applause for everybody. So, yes. Get through the comments here. So, what have been up to, Angela? Oh, I've been busy. I did psychic readings, uh, psychic portrait at the Anchorage Mansion um, this past Saturday from about noon to about seven. As the haunted Anchorage Mansion is on. 44 George Beach, Marietta, Ohio, while I was there and I was doing some readings. There was some paranormal activity there. And there was a lady I was reading for, and then I believe it was her daughter was laying on the on the sofa there. And I was in the parlor. That's where I do my artwork. And she woke up after the reading and said somebody had actually pushed her on the shoulder. And I was actually picking up on a woman another woman in the room oh wow so and and that then a paranormal team came in after i had was wrapping up and i was putting things away and they asked if anybody was here well the name i got in one of my readings was a spirit guide that came in for somebody that's really local that grew up in the 1950s her name was alice now this paranormal team didn't know any of my readings or what i read what any of those readings were and they said, is anybody here? And the first response they got was Alice. Interesting. And it's, a, it's a beautiful place, though. It, it's, it's a work in progress. It'll be probably 30 or 40 years before they get it all fully restored. And they have resealed all the, the floors and replaced the floors and resealed them. And it's just amazing. They opened up a doorway. It, the a nursing home had originally bought it, and they had it closed in the open porch. Well, they opened it back up again. Now you have a nice archway you can walk through on this wraparound porch. They should have flowers growing up around it, and a beautiful entrance with stained glass, uh, double doors, absolutely gorgeous. It's an Italian um, a villa style mansion. It's beautiful. Interesting. Yeah. So, Amber, if you got a question, fire away. We'll start answering questions. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, we're all, we're all excited. So, uh, hopefully, you got some good ones. Hello, Liana, Kyle Smith. Uh, hopefully, I didn't miss everybody. Rosemary, hello there. Welcome to the show. Hello. Round of applause for you. Hello, Roger Blair. So let's see here. I'm scrolling down here. I'm a little bit behind. Hello, Carol. Welcome back. Carol Garcia. Nice to see you. Absolutely here. Hi, uh, Carol. Right, here. Let's see here. Uh, all right. Amber's questions. AKA demons attached since responsible possibly for sickness that's been suggested. Are you saying that you have demons attached to you, Amber? Uh, can you clarify that? Make sure I'm reading that right. I'm a little slow. Oh, I got to be in the right frame of mind to do songs. I'll try to do some songs, yeah. Okay. So let's get Amber's question in. Let me scroll down here. Let's see here. See if Amber... Um, I've been sick for 15 years, tried absolutely everything. What do I need to do to be well? And also how do I solve my housing crisis? 
All right, so we got a lot of questions there. Mm -hmm. So let me see if you have any attachments. I'm not picking up that you have any attachments. So let me let me check real quick. Um, I'm showing. Well, you can't see it, but it's moving left to right. That means no for me. Uh, I'm not showing that you have any attachments. Where are you picking up, Angela? Okay. Let me just draw a room and see what the room's giving me here. Okay. So the first one I get is Ratho, but it's inverted, which means that this is a difficult journey that you're on. So you're talking about your health issues. Um, I'm not picking up attachments either. Um, uh, what I get is like an, there's an energy around you, but it's not an attachment. It's more like something that keeps feeding itself. It's like something has started and now it's like something has started and it's feeding into itself. It's an energy that keeps looping. And it seems to be you it seems to be you yourself your energy doing that the other one i get is helgelas which is disruption the hailstone i'm feeling a lot of pain in my head it just feels so much interference and this when i'm being told that this is a like a karmic thing this is something from past life that's carried over and it's not an attachment it's something from your past life that that has to be dealt with that needs to be dealt with in this life it's something that you haven't faced yet and the last room i get is pertho um mom, and pertho is this is the die cup this is luck this is fortune uh, in this case i'm getting the impression that your what you decide to do is completely up to you like you have to decide whether you're going to be able to face and be willing to go through this residual uh, from your holdover from your past life to make that past life journey and go, and go into that, whether it was through your dreams and journaling and trying to get in touch with your past life that way, or guided meditation in the past life, or whether you're going to do hypnosis, or through a psychic that specializes in past life regression and readings. Whichever you're going to do, you have to decide if you're willing to listen and going to take that actions to help heal yourself. That's the impression I'm getting off of the runes. Well, I'm picking up that there's been some poor decisions made in life. Uh, unfortunately, we do that as humans. So mm -hmm. that that's natural. But have we learned from them? Uh, another thing is, is quit doubting yourself. Uh, I, I feel that you are doubting yourself quite often. And that's helping you not make the correct decisions in life. Uh, but you have to also have a positive mindset. Uh, when you think negative and, and feel that you're in, in negativity, you're going to feed negative things in your life. And you can have negative outcomes happen uh, right after another. And sometimes you don't see the end of the light at the end of the tunnel. However, with that caveat, you can create your own destiny, but you have to have the right positive mindset. Uh, and it all starts when you first wake up in the morning. So think about that and, and don't punish yourself and don't think what you have done wrong to think why you are going through what you're going through right now. Break that chain and habit and start out on a positive note. And I think that would change your outcome on life and also decisions on other factors that you're going to endeavor through your journey as you get older. So hopefully it makes a little sense and resonates with you. But I see a lot of uh, questions. I don't know why you have a lot of questions. I, I think you've been through some rough stuff and uh, I think you're kind of tainted, but uh, that's that's behind you. That's not in front of you. So uh, once that door shut, leave it shut and don't open it and don't look back. Uh, Cause when you start looking back is when that stuff can follow you and lay down in front of you. So absolutely. So hopefully it helps you there. And on your housing part, I, I do see that that is going to get better. I don't know what circumstances you're in, but uh, I think by the middle of the year, 
or towards the later part that that will change. So hopefully that helps you out on that. So, absolutely. Hey, Sean, welcome to the show. Well, you're welcome there, Amber. Not a problem. Hey, Brian Barber, welcome to the show. Nice to see everybody. So, you like your new rooms? I like them a lot. I like these good new rooms. They're very light. They're easy to take with me everywhere, and they're easy to see. Really yeah, they are. Yeah, they but really I still are. Use, I, mean, I still use my other rooms. I mean, I still have my moon rooms and my other new room set I got with me. But, um, and you know, and I still use them personally or in personal readings and things like that. But I also, I mean, for something like this, these wooden ones are very nice. Yeah, they're everybody saying uh, they like the rooms. I like the new rooms, too. So, yeah. You know, easier to see. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So, uh, let's see here. I'm going to close some of these windows here. I'm starting to lag. I don't know why I'm lagging. Is it me or is it on, on the other end? Am I sounding okay? You sound fine. Huh. You're not lagging on our end. At least I'm not on mine. I know we're streaming to a lot of places, but okay. I had a lot of windows open anyway, so typical me. So uh, I think Rebecca uh, wanted me to do songs. And uh, the song I got for Amber uh, was Lay Me Down on a Bed of Roses. So I don't know what that means. Isn't that uh, Bon Jovi or who sings that? The Bed of Roses. That I, that could be Bon Jovi. I am not sure. Yeah. So, Amber, what does that song mean to you? Lay me down on a bed of thorns or roses. Thorns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that's a death metal song right there. <laughs> yeah, Grizzly are lagging because the new time change. We're all lagging. How oh, great. Yeah, it's time to do the dolls cleansing, right? So I thought I was liking. Uh, Penny Van, uh, I have no idea, but yours is do wah diddy diddy dee diddy do. Remember that song? <laughs> that that just that was like why do wah diddy diddy do diddy do. Anyways, so it's interesting. Hey Penny Van, welcome to the show. A round of applause for you. People crack me up on our songs. Things. So that, that one girl on that one one show, it was funnier than hell. Uh, I didn't want to call her out, but hers was uh, uh, <laughs> what's that song with the boots with the fur? Oh my god, that was hilarious! I didn't call her out or anything, right? But uh, mm -hmm. I mentioned the song, and uh, she ended up calling herself out. I said like, I didn't want to do it, so it was funny. <laughs> so let's see here. Boy, I got stuff. I don't know what everybody's you, popping up. You get a hey, Lily, you get welcome. A, <laughs> you got a song for me, Grizzly? Uh, Rosemary. Uh, I talk to angels. I'm trying to figure out who sings that song, or she talks to angels. Um, we're Standing Stones when I need them. He's my music guru. <laughs> she talks to angels. I'm trying to think who oh sings my God, that song. Standing Stones, we miss you. Where are you? I know, right? App and bottle jeans, that's right. Uh, get low, that's right. Thank you, uh, Liana. So, yeah, it's Bon Jovi on that one song, right? Mm -hmm. So, hey, Lily, how you doing? Let's see here. Yeah, she looks fine. I nearly lost my mind. That's right. Do what did he did he do? Did he do? Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to look that song up now. I see not Standing Stones is not here. All right. Let me look it up. I hear the song playing. Uh, she, I love the song. I don't know what the name of the song is. Oh, it's Black Crow. Yes. Black Crow. She talks to angels. Very good song. So... Uh Kylie wants a song. 
All right, hold on. Let me, let me close my browsers here. I got, I don't know why everything's popping up. All right, who wants a song? Sean's uh, driving. Don't be driving. <laughs> I saw Carol. Okay, uh, Carol. Well, as soon as I clicked on your name was the Million Dollar Song, uh, The Millionaire, uh, Chris Stapleton. Very interesting. I don't get very many country songs. That's interesting. Uh, Kyle Smith, uh, Walk This Way by Run DMC. I have no idea why. Do you like Run DMC? I, I haven't listened to that since I was a kid. So, Manfred Man. So, yeah, I don't look at other women like that, Rebecca. What are y'all talking about? Did I miss something? <laughs> Whoa, we're going in the ditch already. <laughs> so let's see here. Yeah, that song's going around in my head. I know I, I keep hearing it, but the million dollar man, that, that was very strong. Rum DMC. I know that song very strong. There Kyle Smith movie, says no. There was a movie that had that song in it, but it was um it was Steve Martin movie, and then there was this magical sign that was on the road sign that was announcing things that would he they would talk to it was like talking to the universe and then that and at the, towards the end he asked to sign this deep philosophical question and he reads the sign and it turned out to be that song dumb deedy dumb, dumb yeah, deedy right. and he asked him why and he said, the sign said i had to think of something <laughs> that's funny uh, Kyle Smith, two things on your song, right? So if a song's blended like that, it can mean a couple of things. It can mean that you like some of the Aerosmith songs, but you got to listen to uh, the lyrics. But it also can uh, tell me, too, that you like rap music or music that has some beats. So, I mean, it can be a uh, walk this way. Yeah, Aerosmith. So, yeah, first. So, and, and a lot of the songs don't mean anything to me. It some somehow it resonates with the person, not me. So, yeah, that type of music triggers my anxiety and I get pissy. Whoa! We're not going to play that with Penny Van on the show. So, <laughs> yes. No, I'm not going to play that. So, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I keep getting these pop-ups. I don't know why. I like, I like metal. I, I like a, a variety of uh, music. So I get to. I have some jazz. There's some famous jazz singers that I like. There's some neoclassical music that I like. And no country though. Yeah, I don't get very many country music. It's it's very weird that I do get some. So. Viking metal, Penny. That's right. Viking metal. I started listening to that too. <laughs> I started listening to some German metal. Let's see here. I'm trying to find something. Oh, where is it at? Hmm, I can't find it. Let's see. Grizzly. Uh, Brian Barber. Uh, sounds like uh, 21 Pilots. Uh, oh, yours is stressed out. So I think that actually resonates right now. If you don't know that song or, or uh, look that one up, uh, I don't know if you listen to that kind of music. That's, that's an older song, isn't it? 21 Pilots, Stressed Out? Yeah. yeah. That is an fact, older song. I heard song. a, a there's a German metal band, I think they call it Hematome, that did a cover of that song. I really like really? that mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think uh, they were riding big wheels when they played that song. Yes. Yeah, Brian, look that up. Stressed out. I think yeah, cause that, uh, that was pretty loud. So how are you feeling, Brian, by the way, since you're in here? Hopefully all is well. Let's see here. I, I've got like, hello there, Joanne. Welcome to the show. She's saying hello, Angela. Hi, Joanne. Uh, Joanne. Joanne. 
I clicked on you and got Lincoln Park. No. Are you okay, Joanne? Hey, I used to ride big wheels. I sure did. I scraped my knees, too. <laughs> I had a mini bike. Uh, Joanne says, I think so. That was, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that's pretty wild. Hmm. Oh, uh, let's see here. Gary Spikes asked for a song. Gary Spikes asked for a song. Hold on, I got to find him. I got to click on him. Whoa. Thunder. Now, who sings that song? ACDC? No, not uh, not that Thunder. Uh, this one's, oh, Imagine Dragons, Thunder. Oh, okay. God, I haven't heard that song in a long time. So. Penny Van, oh, we need an epic of you on a big wheel. <laughs> Y'all crack me up. That'd be on a calendar, right? right. God, now I got that Thunder song stuck in my head. My daughter used to love playing that song. So you're welcome. So uh, Angela's giving me advice to follow. Have you given her advice? No, I haven't given her any advice. Um, I just went over the, that what I was picking up was a past life. And then it's up to her to decide whether she wants to pursue exploring that avenue. Or not. So you can either, you know, because for me, for past lives, you know, people, I, and I've talked to other people too, they sometimes they get that through meditation. Since they, they go to a psyche that specializes in past life reading, sometimes so let's it, see, um, the Hindi religion has something called the Akashic Records that's supposed to help you with uh, past life, um, hypnosis, dreams, journaling, you know, where you can provide, where you get clues from your dreams of what that might be. But you know, it's, it's, these are just methods of accessing a path like that I know of that have worked for some people. But it's up to her whether or not she wants to do that or not. I'm not saying she should or she shouldn't. You just have to decide whether she wants to do that. Ooh, Liana, November rain. Wow. She wants a general reading, please. Oh, Liana. Okay. November Rain, uh, that is sung by Guns and Roses. Roses, yes. Guns and Roses. And that's a pretty deep song. I went one time. I looked it up really the lyrics is. and looked the meaning behind the lyrics and the origins of the songs, and it was quite, quite profound. Yeah, that's. Uh, I haven't heard that you song know, in a long time. Okay, general reading. First one I get for you, Leanna. This literally popped out. This is Langus. Langus is water. It's the leak. It means growth, flow. Uh, what I'm getting from this, from you, is a lot of energy. It feels like you're in a good groove right now in your in your life. It feels like you're in a good place. Like you're you're making the progress that you want. You don't have any interference. You're you're getting things done. Uh, the next rune I'm bringing up for you is, this is Anzu. So Anzu's is speech, wisdom. What I'm getting from you is, from this rune, is that you actually have, are applying what you have learned. And basically, as applying wisdom. That's what that is. I mean, you take your experience and you apply your life experience to, from what you learn, glean from and apply it. That's wisdom right there. And this is supposed to represent Odin's windblown cloak. The next rune I get is Uru. So Urus is strength. It can also be mean the drizzling rain as well. Uh, what I'm getting is the drizzling rain aspect of this rune. So but relaxation, self-care. Just that quiet time. The only thing that the runes are coming out with, as far as that rune is goes, that quiet time, that peace, enjoying nature, um, enjoying that relaxation and meditation, and then the drizzling rain is like cleansing your thoughts and your um, energy from stress, and it's doing a lot of de-stressing. Liana, what is the question you have? 
and that you've been wanting to ask. Yeah, Chris Stapleson, Carol, that is correct. Yeah, it is a beautiful song. Absolutely. So what's that uh, question, Liana? I mean, Standing Stones, Sean, it took me a second to recognize this one, but it saved me. And if you never heard it by this artist, you need to listen to it. It's my Jelly Roll. Very unique. Uh, Grizzly, there's a good reason you really didn't have a song for me at first. Uh, music, and I have a distant relationship in general since I was 22 or so. I thought I gave you a song. So, will my puppy fully recover from getting poison? Will her x-ray be good? I knew there was something on your mind. I picked it up. Let's see here. Okay, so it looks like there will be a recovery. This is going to be a slow recovery. You see how it didn't go very fast at first? It, it took a second to take off. So, yeah, I think you're going to be okay. I got uh, I, Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, I picked I When you asked that question, I picked out this rune again. So this rune, ooh, where's I got strength? That means healing. And what I got the impression was, yes, you will recover. And uh, Rosemary would like to have a ro romance. Romance. Reading. Ooh. Romance. This is going to be nice. Let's see. Try to, let's uh, do the runes. Rosemary Ottman romance reading. So the first rune I got is algae. So algae is protection, sanctuary, safety. Uh, this is also the three states of energy, negative, positive, and neutral. Uh, what I'm getting from this is that you're really... You feel stressed and you're kind of you're seeking sanctuary. <laughs> Apologize. Got allergies. The you're seeking sanctuary. It doesn't feel like you're looking it in the person, but you're looking um for yeah, you're looking for that romance. But you're seeking that you're seeking sanctuary, I think, in someone else. Um, but really within. Okay, so next rune I got is Langus. So Langus is flow. Right now, there aren't any obstacles to romance at this time. I get the impression. It's a good flow. This is the last one. So this is Nadi. So Nadi is a rune of necessity, need, emergency, that kind of stress, but it's also one of love. So I get that you're going that this is going to be happy that there's love in your life um but don't what i'm being told by the runes is not to put that on another person's responsibility to, to provide 100 percent the sanctuary that you want and to find that for yourself within and but there's love all around you and understand that there's particularly runes are telling me it's like you might seek a specific person, but understand first that there's love all around you and there's love within and there's love all around you already. And to start with that, then, you know, seek your romance. If your romance would just be an addition to the love that's already there, but recognize and first be grateful for the love that's already around you first without the romance is what the runes are indicating for me. Who was we reading for? I went on a trance. Yeah. She was talking. Let's see. So we were Rosemary. talking about Rosemary. Yeah. Rose. Who'd you shut the door on uh, last year? Just asking. Interesting. Hey, Brian Barber. Hopefully you checked out that song. You're welcome, Rihanna. It, it's hard. I know. I went through it for my babies. So... Let's see here. Mm -mm. I got that song stuck in my head. Do I did it? Did he don't did he do? 
then I got the millionaire song stuck in my head too now. So let's see. Stop. Yeah, Grizzly, where are your chihuahuas? Don't hear them. Yeah, they're in my daughter's house, remember? I haven't oh. visited her in a while. She's going to school full time and working, so she's been real busy. I miss my baby, so. If you get that song stuck in my head now, it's stuck, it's stuck in my head. <laughs> so, I thought it was funny that night that uh, when my chihuahuas jumped my lap, Kelly Joe start reading the dog. I was like, oh, Lord, spot on. <laughs> so, do Why Diddy was a, a marching tune. Was, in the Army. was it really? I guess it was, Gary. Yeah, I can see that. Grizzly, a couple of them get the door shut. A couple of them get the door shut. Shot. The, the door, door shot. shot. She's laughing when she typed it. <laughs> uh oh. She's going to pull a favorite fight Viking song. Okay. So, yeah. I clicked on somebody earlier and I'm trying to go back and see who it was. It was a Beatles song. And I can't remember who I clicked on. So I was clicking on everybody to see if I can find it. <clears throat> so, but yeah, couple shut. All right. So anybody got any yes or no questions? My, I got my pendulum out. Everybody want to get my pendulum out. So I got it out. Hello there, Nelda. A round of applause for you. Long time no see, Nelda. Where have you been? Nice to have you. I like the ladies that play modern songs on the bagpipes. They are good. No, they are good. I love bagpipes. Angela Grizz doesn't like my music. I didn't say I like all music besides that stuff where they go. <laughs> a lot of people do that in a mic. That's my brother's music. He screams and all that stuff. Uh, Manford, Man Earth Band lyrics, Blinded by the Light, Revved Up Like a Deuce. Yeah. Or wrapped up like I know. Y'all cracked me up. No, nah, that song's playing in my head. But I don't know who I clicked on somebody that didn't want a song. It was a Beatles song. It was way back. And I can't find it. So hello Thomas. Welcome. Nice to see you there. So interesting. Boy. Thomas is uh White Stripe song. I'm trying to the white white stripe song, Seven Nation Army. Yeah, Seven Nation yeah, Army. Yeah, that was Thomas's song. <clears throat> That's weird. There you go, Thomas. You even asked for a song, you got one. Down, don't, 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 down, down. <laughs> that bass so, light will be stuck in your head now. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yes, no, we'll have a good trip in the LVL. I already know that answer because I've done looked into it several times. I'm not going to play any jokes on anybody. I'm going to be professional. Look, that's a big yes. Strong yes. So, absolutely. So, let's see here. LVL, yes, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Denise says, Grizzly, do you have a song for me? Uh Oh, you got the, in the Beatles song, too, Let It Be. That's interesting. I heard that song in a while, Denise, Let It Be. So, you said Beatles song, and yesterday popped in my head. Uh, that was the song that was actually, Liana, the one that uh, somebody had earlier was Yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, so, yeah. I'm sorry, Nilda. I hope your mom's doing okay. Yeah, uh, Thomas, I got your message. I've been working on the studio today. Next thing you know, it was showtime. It's like, ah, oh. so we'll get together tomorrow. Absolutely. Uh, we'll have a cryptid activity at the LBL. <laughs> Are we going to? I didn't I didn't think to ask that. Oh, it's spinning. I never, I never seen that. Why would it do that? I never had that happen before. Did you see it spin? Yeah. No, the comment was probably blocking it. It was spiraling like wow. So it is a maybe. 
That's interesting. Disturb. Sound of silence. Yes, you're welcome, Denise. So, let's see here. Brown Evil is a major hot. It is. Roger Blair, hello. Beatles Norwegian Wood has a good song, yes. Grizzly, was it me that had a Beatles song? Maybe it was you, Rebecca. Maybe we didn't go far back enough and click on it. Are you going to bring your dog whistle? <laughs> Great. Great. Go see a fuzzy grizz on a big wheel on Moonlight. Penny Van. <laughs> TMI. TMI. Y'all crack me up. That gave people, people are thinking, yeah, Penny Van. So, interesting. Now, I hope we're going to, it's supposed to have some good weather down there is what I heard, so. Roger is uh, carrying onward, and uh, that's pretty interesting. Carry onward, my wayward son. Yeah, Kansas. Mm-hmm. So, Grizz, I have a yes or no. I meant to raise the two rescue pups. All right, yes or no. I love rescue dogs. Both of my, all my chihuahuas, that's a strong Yes. All my chihuahuas have been rescued. I was the rescuer for the tri-state area for 13 years for chihuahuas. You have to add that part. Uh, Bigfoot Grizz wearing only a slab of Virginia smoked ham on. Really, Penny? <laughs> you crack me up. Crack me up. Yeah, Roger, that was your song. Uh, Nilda, I have a yes or no. What I experienced at the retreat last Sunday, was it real? And sensation on my chest, was it a spirit? Uh, it's Shane, yes, it was real. And, uh, it was a strong yes, so I don't know what you did experience, but whatever it was, you were supposed to experience it, it seemed like. The ham rides again. <laughs> uh, you all crack me up. Darn it. Really wanted to find them a good home, but they've been here for four months. Only nasty people are. Yeah, that's that's. Uh, well, unfortunately, uh, there were times where I didn't think that uh, I was supposed to keep mine. And and it did. But, uh, but yeah, but it was a strong yes. The hand runs again. I never. I will not get that on my head tonight. Uh, mom's eight years old with dementia and broke her big toe. Ooh, that's awful. Yeah. That's awful. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, Penny is trying real hard to put us there, and I'm trying. <laughs> uh, Brian's like, "What kind of dogs, G?" So, let's see here. Yeah, what kind of dogs are they? Uh, Barbara, Grizz, do you have a song for me? Yeah, I do. And it, it's... Uh, it's not the one of... Huh. Oh, Def Leppard sings it. It's Ring of Fire. It just took me a second. I just never heard that song sung by Def Leppard. I think it's Def Leppard, isn't it? Ring of Fire. Didn't Def Leppard sing that song? Well, there was a Johnny Cash song that was Ring of Hold Fire. Hold on. Let me, let me Google it. Let's see here. Ring of Fire. Def Leppard. Okay, Def Leppard did sing it. No, that's the song I heard. That that's or it it's not like the Johnny Cash song. Okay. It's, it's a different song, yeah. So okay, so Sean must be home. Did Jean ever say what type of dogs they were? No, she didn't say. She just said they're big. I wonder if they're a large breed dog, like a. Like yeah, a I gotta have. Uh, I gotta have small dogs. 
So. Our chihuahuas have personality. I, There was a company I worked for, and the boss's mother would come in with her little chihuahua. And the, I could read the chihuahua, and the chihuahua would sit there, and she would dress the chihuahua up in these, these little girl clothes. And I pet her, and she would get all excited. And for me, since I could see auras, I was seeing, like, it looks like fireworks were coming out of her, and they were all different colors. <laughs> <laughs> I used to see auras, and uh, it got real fuzzy, and then it just kind of, like, tapered off. So I don't know what happened. A lot of people say I kind of blocked it out. So I don't know. Uh, Jean says, okay, here we go, that there were Australian Kelpies, and my dad was a mutt mix. They look like hounds, beautiful dogs. Oh, wow. Hey, uh, Skywalker. Welcome. Uh, I feel like they're catching the show. Awesome. And uh, your song is the Bittersweet Symphony. I haven't heard that song in a while. So that's very interesting. How's your life been, Skywalker? So interesting. He's saying hello to everybody. Now that song stuck in my head. Uh, Nilda says, can you pull some runes for me, please, Angela? Sure, absolutely. Okay, so for Nilda, first rune I get is victory. This is actually the t Walls rune. This is tear runes. Tears rune, the god tear. It can also mean oath. It can mean pointing north uh, to higher power. One getting is a, a strong connection to higher power. It's like you're you have that very strong connection. You're always looking to higher power, and it's something that you've established very well for yourself. A good connection, and there's victory in that as well. So there's there's more attached to that. So the next one I get is Iwa. So Iwa means journey, and for you, Nilda, I'm feeling. Okay, so this is a journey. I'm being told that this is a journey that's between yourself in this world and a spirit guide that is with you. It's like an equal partnership. What I'm getting off of that. So it's like you have a, you're formally rooted in this world, but you also are very aware of this other world and this spirit guide. Next room I get is Helgenas. It usually means interference. It can be transformation as the hellstone. It can be lucid dreaming. Um, I'm seeing something going on with your dreams happening, becoming more vivid and more lucid and more spiritual in nature with your dreams is what I'm getting from this. Is it, Dreams that feel like you are being taken out of your body and you're having these otherworldly experiences. Just to have you while well, somebody's eating Girl Scout cookies. And <laughs> Carol would like to have some rings, please. Okay. Okay, Carol, let's have some rooms. Okay, so the first room I get is Ing was. So Ing is the father deity. Ing, the guardian of the household, protector, and also reaching goals. But I feel like this represents you. It feels like you're the protector here. Feels like you have that strong personality that's the protector. Okay, so the next room I get is strength. So ooh, the strength. It can be the drizzling rain. And I got that you have a lot of strength in here. It's you're continuing on this path of strength and protection. It feels like you're there for others, but you have enough of it for everybody. Okay. And the next rune I got is Nadi. So Nadi is a rune of necessity. 
It's also love. It could be emergency. We are, this is supposed to be two sticks being rubbed together to create fire in the event of an emergency. And you're kind of lost in the woods. Um, I'm getting uh, the idea from this room is just light and darkness. I'm seeing for you. I was given the image of a fire and darkness. Um, focusing on your light, your inner light, and just staying focused on that. Um, focusing on the basics, on fundamentals, on those types of things so that you're not so overcome with so many things going on is what I'm getting the impression of that room. So focus on your light. Focus on the light that's right here. Interesting. Tracy says she buys Girl Scout cookies and freezes them. They would never make it to the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> Nilla says, wow, thank you. You're welcome, Nilda. And the Girl Scout, I can't ever eat them because they always have wheat in them. So, because of I, I can't because of gluten, I can't have. I hope they would come out with the gluten free cookies, but no, not yet. Not yet. Mmm, peanut butter. I like the uh, coconut ones. You're welcome, Carol. Oh, uh, yeah, the coconut one used to, you know, when I could eat cookies, that was, <laughs> was my favorite. They got gluten free ones now. Go figure. Oh, they do? Oh, I want the gluten-free ones. How much is a box going for now? Somebody told me a price a while back ago. I about flipped out. I remember when they were two fifty a a piece. Uh, Skywalker, we like some rings, please. Okay. Five dollars. What? A Skywalker. I'll get the ones here. My lord, five bucks. So the first rune I am getting is Thorasa. So this is a rune of danger, but also boundaries. It's usually I see it, it's a warning. Uh, what I'm getting on here is a warning, like you're pushing yourself too much. Um, there's too much stress there. Be careful because you might just push yourself over the edge. It's a little much. And the next rune I get is Degas. So Degas is a rune of enlightenment. It's also the highest point of the sun in the sky. So the afternoon sun, right at noon, with the brightest light and the deepest shadows. Uh, what I'm getting for you on this is feels like you've lost your way. You lost clarity somehow and that you need to get back to that. And it feels like you need to take that time for yourself to focus to get that clarity back and you're struggling to get it back um so that and that path of enlightenment um this one they, they step back um just like you need to focus on trying on getting that clarity back so the next room i get is feyu so feyu is it can be uh, spiritual in a sense of lucid dreaming uh, try that type of thing, but it's, it's money, also mobile wealth. Um, what I'm getting from you is um, you do have some money that's coming in, um, but there is a warning from the runes to take a step back and to give yourself a break and clear your mind and focus on you and give yourself the rest that you need to recoup that pause, even if it's just a few minutes a day to work that in. Give yourself that time so you can return to the focus that you had it, it looks like by the runes you were you had a very clear direction and a focus and then you've lost sight because of so much strain that you put on yourself uh, i'm a teacher hanging on the spring break you're spot on interesting all <clears throat> right gary spikes senior I'd like to have some runes please all right gary let's see what comes up here for you there we go. Keep shuffling. Okay. All right, Gary. So the first rune I pick up 
is Pertho. Pertho is a rune of chance, luck. It's also uh, putting the decision in your hands. <clears throat> and this is the die cup. Um, the one I'm getting from, from this rune for you is that there's, I feel pressure. For one thing, I feel like I'm under pressure. And I feel like so much is left to chance, but you don't want it left to chance, but yet you don't have any control over it. Okay. So the next room, Degas. So Degas being enlightenment, the dark and the shadow, the height of power of the sun. I'm getting the impression from the room that you have the power to see through this. And with great clarity, it's just a matter of from this room I'm getting that you can have the ability to step back and look at something and clear your mind and look at it objectively to make a clear decision. And then that's, and by taking control of yourself, you take control of the situation. Interesting. Next room I got is Wunyo. So Wunyo is peace, fresh start, victory, happy endings, new beginnings. And what I'm getting from this is tremendous amount of joy. Like, whew, I've come through that. I took this matter. I, I ran with it. I regained my focus, my clarity, and now I'm in a good place. All right. Next up is Thomas. Thomas. Okay. Oh, how do you say your, how do you pronounce your last name? Just wine. Guess wine. Mm-hmm. Wow. I would have never guessed that from the spelling, <laughs> the last thing. That's cool, though. Okay. So I am doing a new reading for him. Wool Rider, I'm getting a no. Okay. Jerry says, spot on at the moment, and a lot of pressure. Under pressure, queen. Okay. So the first rune I get is T-Was. Uh, T-Was is victory. Um, what I'm feeling, though, I'm getting a sense of a duty here, a sense of duty. Oath, that strong sense of tradition, a strong sense of duty. Um, if you ever read the history a little bit on Tyr's rune, the god Tyr, I promised the other gods um, that he would help eradicate the furnace wolf furnace okay furnace wolf and he's made this promise he stuck his hand in the mouth of the wolf and the wolf bit his arm off um but while his hand was in the mouth he was actually um tying tying it up with a ribbon and trying to uh, stop it and uh, subdue it so the next rune i get is ingwas so ingwas is the rune of the father, like father of the house root, father of the household, the god Ing, um, kind of a nature god, but also strong protector of family. Um, I I feel like you that you feel like you don't have protection, it's like that's lost to you, that you feel vulnerable now, and that you're seeking it out. You're seeking some way urgently to have some sort of protection for yourself. And the last rune I get is Othala. Othala is the mother rune. I call it the mother rune. This is a goddess, and this is the one that represents royalty, kings, family, DNA. Again, it feels like duty. Um, you don't feel like you have protection, but it doesn't sound like you, feels like you don't need it so much. That this part, the reason why you're feeling so vulnerable is, I'm getting the pressure from the runes, is that there's has to be love in the situation and that's the part that makes the difference as opposed to strength and defensiveness. Interesting. Next up, Penny Van. Penny. Penny Van. Penny Van. Have not had a good, not a, have not had a good Girl Scout cookie in a while. She said at this price, it's been over 20 years and I probably won't buy any again. Oh no. Hmm. We're so somebody couldn't tempt you with the box? Hmm? Oh. Night Lorna. 
Okay, so the rune, the first rune I get is Thorasas. Again, it's warning, it's boundaries. I feel like you have strong boundaries already is what I, the impression I'm getting, that you set some very clear boundaries. Like you've had some issues in the past and you said, you know what? I'm going to send some very clear, clear boundaries and I'm seeing actually high walls around you that you put up. Next rune I have here is, this is Yara. This is the rune of harvest. It also represents um, the part of the year, the solstice, I should say, the winter, the solstice, the winter solstice, and then we're going past it and things start to get better. But this is harvest. Um, what I'm getting at the impression of that you worked really, really hard and now you're enjoying the results of that hard work and you want to enjoy it. So that's why you put up these boundaries. Like, no, like nobody's going to interfere. You want to sit down and enjoy what you've, what you've done, what you accomplished and what you've set up for yourself. Um, the next rune I get is Ansus. So Ansus is wisdom. It's speaking. It's uh, channeling. It uh, can be creative. What I'm getting from this, though, is, is creative writing for you as an outlet. I keep hearing poetry. Poetry as some sort of outlet for you. So Crystal Song is Everlast. Oh, Yes, and it's what it's like. As soon as she jumped in the chat, I was like, wow. <laughs> All right, last one, ladies and gentlemen, and it is Barbara Woodbury Spear. Okay. Okay, so Barbara. I know her very well. Her and I have been friends for a long time. Okay, so the first rune I bring up is Degas. They got us a rune of the highest point of the sun in the sky. So the noonday sun, light, light, dark, dark. Um, what I'm seeing here for you is a boundary between the light and the dark. A very clear, delineated boundary. It, it feels like you keep those very separate. You don't wander into one or the other. You keep and you don't mix the two. They're completely separate. And I feel like you don't even indulge in the dark. It's always on the side of light. Uh, but be aware that the that there's dark there. Um, but enlightenment, I keep. So it's like very good to keep those that type of boundaries. You don't want to mix the two. Some people do. Okay, so and the Tracy is, is three doors down kryptonite. Okay, and Barb. The next rune I get is Isa. So this is the rune of. Um, ice, the glacier, particularly glacier ice, large glacier ice. Uh, when I see this room, it's usually a call to calm, to pause, to consider things. In this case, I see a delay. To me, this seems like delay, delay. Yeah, I had to tell Trace your song. It was so loud. And the next rune I have is Wunyo. So Wunyo is fresh start, happy beginnings. It feels like you have some good news coming from all that you're having to deal with, that there's good news in your future. It feels it feels health related. Hmm, awesome. Well, everybody, it's been an awesome time. Greatly appreciate it. And Angela did a good job tonight. Thank you so much. And uh, anything you'd like to say before we wrap up? Oh, thank you so much for coming and joining us tonight. And I hope to see you all next time. Absolutely. And from coast to coast, around the world, ladies and gentlemen, catch you on the next show. Good night. Bye-bye.